Dude, that's not my fault. Like, he is insulted that I asked what his career is, even though he's a he's a workaholic, but he has no job. He's unemployed. Like, dude, that is not my fault. If you're going to be blaming me for all your problems, this thing is not going to work. You know what? I'm not feeling it. We're going to say goodbye, okay? <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Jembug, and welcome back to my channel for part 3 of the Sims 3 Complete Collection Challenge, which is a massive 40 plus generation challenge that's purpose is, if you couldn't guess it, to play through the complete collection of the Sims 3. We are currently on generation 1 with Maritza, and working towards finding a love interest so they can get married and have babies and we can continue the challenge. <laughs> Anyways, grab yourself a cup of coffee or something to sip on. And let's dive in. So the last part, uh, Maritza was getting pretty cozy with a Mr. Rainer, who is one of her co-workers. Um, they apparently have a lot in common, which we found out that they're both natural cooks. And uh, he is a Sagittarius, whereas Maritza, I believe, is a Libra. Where do I find that out at? I'm going through all of the things I don't know where. Yeah, she's a Libra, which those signs are apparently compatible. So um, I think he might be the, um, I don't want to say target, but I mean, <laughs> he's going to be the target. I think he's going to be the romantic interest. They get along really well. They're best friends. Um, I just want to hopefully find out his remaining two traits because... I mean, if he ends up disliking children, like, that's kind of a deal breaker because we we need to have children to continue on with the challenge. So, um, is she, she has today off. So, this is going to be wonderful, wonderful day to work on that relationship if she ever wakes up. All right. So, we are going to go ahead and invite Rainer over and see if we can't pull those two remaining traits out of him. He is here. Um, let's go ahead and straight up, uh, get to know. You can, you can quit reading that book right now. Okay, Maritza? Come on. We have more important things to do. We need to, you know, ensure the bloodline. <laughs> Look at that. Attractive company. They dig each other a lot. What is up with his socks, though? Those are interesting. Nothing. He is not giving us anything. You could definitely give him a friendly hug, though. We gave her the observant uh, reward last episode, too. And it's not helping at all. Ugh, why? Why you gotta do this, Rainer? Why? Why do you have to be like a partially open book, you know? It's like, oh no, we're getting to the climax, but we can't read the rest of the book. Not cool. Um, <laughs> I kind of... Ugh. I don't know, do we take that leap? Let's go ahead and flirt. Or flirtatious Joe? Let, let's just flirt. Let's see how that goes. And it looks like he's digging it. That's always good. They're on a date. She wants to have a great date with Rainer. Um, do I want to lock that in? How much is that? 500. Um, we're just, we're just gonna, you know, grind this out. <laughs> Here we go. They're about to have their first kiss. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> oh, there he is. He's a romantic interest now. That is great. She's had her first kiss ever. And her first kiss was Rainer. So they had an awesome date and she already wants to ask him out on another date. So yeah, we could do that for sure. <laughs> Right now, though, it is about 9.30, and yeah, we're just going to get her ready for bed. It is a new morning. Marissa is cleaning up the house, and things are all in tip-top shape. So um, we're going to ask Rainer out on another date, and he says it sounds like fun. He's going to meet us there. And of course, let's try to get to know him again. <laughs> Ooh, she wants to woohoo with Rainer. Um, I mean, girl, you will. Trust me, okay? But uh, maybe not, like, out here in the middle of the day, out in the open. Probably not a good idea. <laughs> right, another great date. She wants to kiss Rainer again, even though they just kissed goodbye. Oh, she's going to clean up someone else's picnic. I mean, 
pretty nice. And this guy, she actually, um, apparently they have a lot in common. Apparently they're just gonna dance together, but then Rainer's over here like, why are you dancing with him? Why aren't you dancing with me? I know we're not exclusive or anything, but like, you know, can we be? <laughs> oh my goodness. Everyone wants to dance with Maritza. She must be a good dancer or something. I don't know. He's still here though, so let's go ahead and, and uh, give him a little smooch. Perfect, perfect. Still wants a woohoo with him. What I want is for her to want to ask him to go stay. <laughs> I really don't want to force it, but, um, you know, I will if I have to. Ooh, burgers for Sims in uniform. Uh, deliver burgers to the police station before the time runs out to improve your cooking skill and also increase relationship with workers at the police department, which that's good. We want friends. So yeah, we'll definitely do that. Probably too late to turn it in, but we can get it made and put it in the fridge. <laughs> I've made that mistake once, I will not make it again. Even though we we have found out that we can turn in spoiled food, which probably isn't the nicest thing to do. <laughs> Look at that, she wants to serve a home cooked meal at a party, which um, I was gonna throw a birthday party for her today, so uh, that's kind of perfect timing. Okay, so. I put some balloons, because why not? I mean, um, yeah, and I even, <laughs> I don't know, I had a laugh with myself putting uh, these little balloons here in the, by the mailbox, like, yes, we're having a party here. Um, ooh, she needs to clean that sink before she has a party, though. That is not okay. We got the cake, we got the balloons, and we got a stereo. Hopefully, uh, one of the requirements for Generation 1 is to throw at least one great party. So hopefully, this party turns out to be a great party and we are set up and can uh, check off our first requirement. That'd be awesome. I know it's pretty early to be having a party, but she does have work today and it'd be kind of awesome if she could go to work. Okay, first, we need to make this a birthday party because that's what it is and just casual attire you know so we definitely want to invite rainer and we'll invite you know our friends um mags we definitely need to invite we're not friends with her and we'll invite jebediah because he is almost a friend and that's probably about as many people as she can fit into her house <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so party is here. Let's go ahead and serve that up real quick before anything else. Oh, okay. Hey, Bob. And uh, Mary Kay Shallow just appeared for some reason. This is gonna be an issue. Can you guys just leave or, you know what? I'm not dealing with this, okay? We are going to move things around right now because I am not about to deal with that. No, I'm not. Blow out candles. <laughs> Let's hurry up and do that before everyone leaves. Hurry up, hurry up. Maritza is now a fully mature, at least some of the time, adult. Oh, and she'll really need to think about establishing herself in her career and family life while there's still time. Yeah, we're definitely going to get working on that family life, okay? Maritza's party was a modest success. The guests feel good about having attended. Dang it. Oh... It was worth a shot, though. I, I shouldn't have, uh, shouldn't have attempted to do it so quickly like that. Um, I'm gonna help her put away all this food, though, because that is a lot of food to put away. So yes, Maritza has reached the point in her life where birthdays just aren't that special anymore. <laughs> it's like, okay, great, I'm aging up again. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, awesome. We just became friends with Jebediah after talking to him on the phone. You know, we can get rid of that throw great party because um, we didn't. And probably the next party, hopefully the next party we throw is a wedding party. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, get rid of that for now. All right. It's finally time to deliver these burgers to the police station. All right. The men and women in blue, thank you for your efforts. The burgers were delicious.
Our pool arrives in an hour. We have so much in common. Oh, another one. Okay. Oh, and another one. George Dean. And actually, she took some unpaid time off, so we're actually not going to work. <laughs> I'm going to have her come back to the house and um, call one of these people that she just met. Let's go ahead and call George Dean. Um, the improved relationship because of that opportunity was actually a pretty decent amount, so... We might be able to get some friends here. How many do we need? We need just three more friends to complete this, uh, this want. She did it. She's got eight friends. Should we just keep going? Let's go ahead and call, a uh, pal next. And then she'll be, uh, one away. Ooh, she did not become friends with him, though. Let's go ahead and call him again. It's, it's so close. There we go. Now they're friends. Okay. All right, Maritza has just gotten a promotion. What is she doing? No, 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 no. Go get drinks. Um, so she has been promoted to a sous chef with a bonus of 1,296 simoleons. And she makes 124 simoleons per hour now. That is awesome. Things are not going so well with Rainer. Dan. George does not want to come over either. Um, Rainer is a romantic interest, but she is like not wanting to take the leap with him for some reason. So maybe we need to explore some other options. Mitchell McCabe wants to know if Maritza Isaacs would like to go on a date. I have no idea who that is, but um, sure. I <laughs> I I really have no idea. Is it um is it that blonde? Yes, it is. Okay. Well, let's see if things work out a little bit better with Mitchell here. She is in her work clothes still. All right. Hello. How are you? It's kind of awkward. Don't really know each other. But let's get to know each other. All right. So he is a natural cook. He is a party animal and a workaholic. Uh, not too bad. Party animal is... Um, a little out of Maritza's comfort zone, I think, but, um, you know, that could be a good pair. He could kind of, you know, bring her, you know, bring her a little bit out of her element, which is, you know, not necessarily a bad thing. Um, let's, uh, ask Sign. Oh, he's a hopeless romantic. And he is a Gemini, and those signs are compatible, so... Um, this is this is cool. Curious to see what he does for work. Oh, <laughs> dude, that's not my fault. Like he is insulted that I asked what his career is, even though he's a he's a workaholic, but he has no job. He's unemployed. Like, dude, that is not my fault. If you're gonna be blaming me for all your problems, this thing is not gonna work. You know what? I'm not feeling it. We're gonna say goodbye. Okay? We don't need that in our life right now. <laughs> Finally, George wants to come over. My gosh. He was not wanting to. It must have been because it was just too close to work or something. Yeah, it looks like he just got out of work. So, uh, let's go ahead and invite inside. He's athletic, family oriented. Ooh, that's good. He's brave. Let's, um, ask if he's single because I don't, rem I don't know if he's single or not. Oh, okay. He is single. Awesome. Awesome. Um, Let's ask Sign. Oh, she wants to be best friends. That's, yeah, we could do that. Virgo, they are not compatible. Did they just Amherst hug? Sure, let's flirt then. Moritz has a naughty, um, naughty reputation now. But she doesn't want to take the leap with Rainer. Like, maybe she will with him. Oh, he's friendly. Okay. That's cool. They're both friendly. Ooh, she has been promoted again. Ooh, wants to, yeah, we're gonna lock that in. She's now an executive chef. A bonus of 1488 simoleons, and she now makes 150 simoleons per hour. And she also works from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. now. So she cut half an hour time, and she has three days off still. So that is pretty awesome. Right now, she is just doing um, an opportunity to increase job performance. And, uh, yeah. All right, she wants to go on a date with George again. So, I don't think we're going to be able to do that tomorrow because he works. But we'll definitely do it. 
go on a date, that is. <laughs> Alright, so I had my days mixed up. Uh, it's Saturday. The dude just stood us up. Um, that's not cool. Okay, he actually showed up this time. We're gonna turn that music off. What? The accused of cheating. Um, I haven't even seen him! Ugh, that's not cool. Okay, so Maritza has been promoted again to chef de cuisine. 1800 smoleons bonus. She now makes 201 smoleons per hour, still works 3 to 8. Not bad. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. Um, things are going very well in her professional life. Like, she is... What level is this? Level 9. She's almost at the top of her career. She's, I believe, level 8 cooking skill. Yes, so she's almost at the top of the cooking skill. Her romantic life, on the other hand, isn't so great. We were, you know, chilling, hanging out with Rainer a little bit, but she did not seem to want to, uh, you know, take the leap with Rainer. So we kind of, you know, we were hanging out with George a little bit and... He seemed like this awesome guy. He's family oriented. He's friendly. He, I guess, heard about her relations with Rainer and accused her of cheating. So their relationship isn't so great. So um, in the next episode, we're definitely going to try and either repair the relationship with George or uh, try to pick things back up with Rainer. I don't know. Once. Uh, we're not going on a date with you, dude. Like, you have issues, Mitchell, okay? We are we are not going on a date with you. Uh, anyways, yeah, we're going to try and repair some relationships, try to get going. She has 12 days before aging up. Um, and we, it seems like we're no closer to even getting a boyfriend at this point. So uh, hopefully we can figure that out next time. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you'd like to stick around, go ahead and hit that go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And as always, leave any comments or suggestions down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.